what are the causes of climate change in Pakistan? If you're wondering why Pakistan is facing such severe climate challenges, you're about to find out some key reasons. Let's break it down step by step. First, let's talk about greenhouse gas emissions. While Pakistan itself is not a major contributor to global emissions, the country still produces significant amounts. In 2018, Pakistan's greenhouse gas emissions were around 420-28.6 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent, which is relatively low per person, but it still contributes to the global problem. One major issue is deforestation. Pakistan has been losing its tree cover rapidly. Since 2001, the country has lost about 9,540 hectares of tree cover, which has released a substantial amount of CO2 into the atmosphere. For example, in 2023, Pakistan lost 148 hectares of tree cover, releasing 60.2 kilotons of CO2. Another critical factor is the degradation of habitats. Pakistan is home to a rich biodiversity, including many endemic species, but human activities have severely impacted these ecosystems. The mangrove forests of the Indus Delta, for instance, have declined significantly since the 1970s. Climate change is also altering weather patterns in Pakistan. The country experiences extreme weather events like severe heat waves and intense monsoon rains. In 2022, Pakistan saw its worst floods in 75 years, which were exacerbated by climate change. These floods followed months of record-breaking temperatures and dry conditions, highlighting the irregular and unpredictable nature of the country's weather. The lack of renewable energy is another challenge. Pakistan relies heavily on non-renewable energy sources, which contributes to its high greenhouse gas emissions. The country aims to increase renewable energy to 60% of its energy mix by 2030, but this requires significant investment, estimated at around $100 billion. Inadequate infrastructure and funding also play a role. Pakistan's vulnerability to climate change is heightened by its inadequate sewage systems, air pollution from industrial waste, and lack of funding for climate resilience efforts. These factors make it difficult for the country to prepare for and respond to climate-related disasters. Lastly, global climate governance and the role of industrialized nations are important. Since Pakistan contributes very little to global greenhouse gas emissions, but suffers greatly from the effects, there is a strong call for international support. Industrialized nations are urged to take responsibility and provide financial and technological assistance to help Pakistan build climate-resilient infrastructure and mitigate the worst effects of climate change. These factors combined create a complex and challenging climate situation in Pakistan, highlighting the need for both local and international action to address these issues.